Hi everyone, it's Poi from Pimmy's Handcrafted Soap. How's everyone doing today? Um, it is interesting times for us right now with the COVID-19 going on at the moment all over the world. So I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy physically and mentally. Uh, and just be extra careful, extra cautious in whatever you do. So today, I feel like making an all-natural bar of soap. Um, so it's going to be lavender and rosemary. I've actually never mixed the two together before. Um, and it's gonna be half and half of lavender essential oil and rosemary. The lavender essential oil I got from Camden Gray. And the rosemary is from Brambleberry. I have already mixed it here. Um, in my main bucket, I have all my oils and butter um, and I have my lye solution right off to the side here. Um, today's design is going to be a simple in the pot swirl. Um, you guys know I love those. Um, the colorant for this one is going to be purple Brazilian clay. Um, this is mixed with hot water. Uh, it is less than one tablespoon. That's all I have. Um, so that's going to be one part of the batter. The other color for the soap is going to be my main plain batter. But I'm going to mix in a little bit of kaolin clay. It's probably not going to color the soap white. But I'm just going to put into that portion only. added the lye solution into this mixture. Um, I am going to blend it until um, either emulsion or light trace and then I'll separate out for colors. So my batter reached trace really quickly. This is um, light trace right now and it's going to be perfect for um, mixing in the color and doing uh, in the pot swirl. Here's the purple Brazilian clay. I had less than one tablespoon, so I plan for this to be most of the batter. And then the accent color will be an off-white with the kaolin clay. This is hard already. So here's my colors. Um, you guys saw that the batter went really fast. Um, too bad I don't have more purple clay, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty anyway. I'm, I'm going to stick blend this really quickly and then do the swirl and pour. the purple Brazilian clay soap lavender and rosemary scented um, it is mixed a little bit with an off-white color now I have some batter left for the off-white which I'm going to put on the top and then we'll swirl it
is our soap top. How do you guys like it? Um, so the purple Brazilian clay is right now brown and I hope it turns back. I am going to insulate this overnight and we'll be back tomorrow to cut it. You guys stay tuned. So here's what our cut soaps look like, um, the one with the purple Brazilian clay, rosemary and lavender. Um, I cut this actually last night, but the quality of the filming was kind of bad um, for you to see the color. So this is the next morning that I'm showing you the cut. So you can see that the purple Brazilian clay is not purple, but uh, I think this is the color of it though. Um, if I use more, I think maybe a bit more to the purple side. But you can see here is um, light brownish purple red. I don't mind the color and look at the swirls. It looks so nice. I'll probably be making another batch of this when I have more purple Brazilian clay. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, consider subscribing if you aren't already. I post a video every week um, and I hope you guys all stay safe and healthy. We are going through an interesting time right now. Um, hang in there you guys and everything will pass soon I hope. Okay, so um, stick around for my next one next week. Hopefully I'll be doing a wedding favor. So you guys have a good week. Bye!